Okay, uh, welcome to uh, another edition of Memphis Applegate's Adventures here in the shop. Um, I got a lot of response on my uh, video from uh, uh, when I rigged this uh, 12 volt, uh, 12 volt uh, uh, drill to a uh, just a battery, any any 12 volt battery source. Uh, I had basically three. Uh, Three questions. Uh, number one, uh, somebody asked, uh, "Hey, could you, uh, you know, it's not showing us. Could you show you, show us how to do it?" And so that's what we're going to do today. I uh, had a, a second question, and that that was, uh, "Well, that's a 12 volt, uh, a 12 volt uh, drill. Will it uh, work for a 9 volt or some other voltage?" And I wrote back, "So it's about 100 percent sure it would, but." I go, let's try it. And then the third question was, uh, hey, why don't you uh, put alligator clips on the end of that line so you can hook it to any battery anywhere um, without, uh, you know, without having a, a bolt uh, connection. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to build a uh, build one of these uh, 12 volt, convert one of these cordless drills to a 12 volt system. Uh, and I'm going to use alligator clips, and the drill I convert is going to be 9.6 volt. So stand by, and let's get to work. Um, I got it all taken apart here. Um, as I said, we had uh, a question, three different questions. First of all, the, somebody said they'd like to see how it's done, so that's what we're doing here. Had another question that uh, uh, would, it, would the thing work on a on a uh, something other than 12 volt uh, thing, uh, 12 volt uh, screwdriver well so that's what we're, that's what we're doing here this is a 9 point, uh, 9 point6 volts so black an old black and decker you know you can't even get the batteries anymore so all you do is run your wire through uh, the key to it here is to make sure you put a strain relief on this on the wire and then when you string it uh, then when you put it all back together that that strain relief will be will take the strain will take the strain off these off the wires here now you hook the wires up back here. That there's, I mean, I wish it was harder, um, some kind of big technical uh, stuff or something that I can impress you with, but it's it's really uh, absolutely nothing to it. Uh, you just took one of the wires to the uh, black wire, or the other wire to the red wire, and if there's a white wire in there you know, or some other. You just have to experiment around and just touch the wires off until you find the one that makes the thing move. Um, so that's all. And I've already connected this, uh, squeezed these two wires together. Uh, pretty simple job. Now, uh, now what we got to do is put these screws back in here. If I can find them all. Um, screw this thing back together. I know what I'll do. See, this is an actu actually a, almost a perfect job for these little screwdrivers here. This is the one I was showing to you in the other vis in the other video. Um,
This may speed things up. I need a longer bit. But it slow things down too much to go get one, so I'll just keep them breaking them. I don't think I did. Okay, that's the actual electric screwdriver or 12 volt screwdriver in action. Okay, now this, uh, all this business gets crammed back in here. Got to figure out how it goes. Um, probably goes about like that. Is that right? Yep, goes about like that. I guess I put a little piece of tape over this. I'm only putting the tape over it, not to hold it together, just to uh, uh, preclude the possibility of any uh, short. Uh, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, not a lot of voltage in there, so it's not like it's going to arc or anything, but... Um, make sure everything's back together. Now... This thing has a little pin. I had, I had, I didn't know about that pin when I took it apart. I don't know if you can see it right there. There's, there's a stationary alignment pin. So when you try to push that thing together, you got to get that alignment pin stuck in there. I'm not going to edit this video. I'm going to show you just, uh, I'm going to give you the true, the true dope on how this thing goes, goes back together. You know, I don't want to make it look easier than it is. Okay, here's a little screwdriver, a little electric screwdriver again. Let's put these screws in. Almost not long enough. Let's throw them in there. One goes in there. One goes in there. There's one that goes in here. If you can see it, could be one more. There it is, right there. Okay, let me let me put these in real quick. I know I'm taking up a lot of time. My videos get so long and boring and. Um, Feel bad about it. I know I had more viewers. If I could keep, if I could get these things a little slicker. I guess what I, one of the things I could have done is made sure that made sure that I had a longer bit for that screwdriver and have it staged to where I didn't have to go back around. Now usually if you get everything put back, if, you, if the screws all go back in, then there's only one way it'll work. Okay, there's that. Okay, now what we got to do, I'll get the video camera over here. Pointing down here. This is the little alligator clip. I already did one of them. Um, they're set up just a pinch of wire right down in there. Um, but I like to I like to solder them if I can. So that's what I'm going to do. Give me some solder and. 
you don't have to tell me in the comments that you're a better solder than I am because that's your goal in life. You're not aiming high enough. What I do do when I'm soldering is I'll sometimes, you know, uh, melt a little ball of solder, and I'll just keep my I'll keep my iron in it, and then once the metal below it uh, reaches the the correct temperature, it'll there'll be kind of like a phase change. The color of it will change and it will okay, that's soldered. Put the soldering iron over here. And take this thing out. Make sure it's not too hot and burn my fingers. And you need one of these little little things. You don't really use use a pair of pliers, but kind of shut over, make sure make sure you've got this little thing here pre-staged on your on your wire it won't fit on there. And then here it is here. Okay, here's the test. Let's get back here. Get back here and move this camera reader up so we can see it. Okay, which battery am I going to use? I got this. I got this tiny little uh, motorcycle battery. I don't know if it's still charged, but let's give it a whirl. Set this up to positive. Alligator clips. That's how you do it. Uh, it's, it's easy. Um, alligator clips. 9.6 volts. And that's how you do it. There's uh, nothing else to know. And another thing you can do, let's see if I get this thing right. This is, okay, here, here I, I've, I've got those leads, I've got those leads turned around. Uh, it really doesn't matter, but that's the reason I said it doesn't matter which wires you hook up because you can hook these you can hook these things to the wrong terminal. Um, and it will still work. I did have it to the right, to the correct terminal. All right, so there it is.